What is going on, Hustlers? Welcome back into Hustlepedia. Today, we are going to be taking a look at the overall market. Obviously, we had a little bit of a what they call a flash crash in crypto today. Uh, there's a little bit of news out there. There was a lot of leverage in the markets. Um, so we'll get into that and some value buys potentially in the crypto gaming market. And then I want to cover um, a upcoming NFT drop in the CNFT space, the Cardano NFT space, for an upcoming virtual pet play to earn game, the first virtual pet play to earn game on Cardano, and that is Mikazi. Uh, we'll get into Mikazi, and then I want to go over a couple other projects also on CNFT that I'm also looking at, and a couple that I've also picked up. And I want to go over why I think CNFTs in general are undervalued. Uh, and if you're looking to get into NFTs, CNFTs, Cardano NFTs could be a perfect way for you to venture in. Especially if you're looking to like avoid gas fees and all that good stuff. A lot of these CNFT floors are performing really well. And Mikazi has their drop on November 14th. So we'll get into that here in this video. If you're new to the channel, be sure to drop down and hit that subscribe button. We come out with brand new cryptocurrency and crypto gaming videos every single day here on the channel and be sure to like the video if you enjoyed the video if you are bullish on crypto gaming as well uh, as nfts let's go ahead and get into it uh, so the market obviously we have a little bit of we had a lot of leverage we had like all-time highs almost in leverage uh, as far as leverage trades out on exchanges and on trading platforms and obviously we had a pretty quick flash crash bitcoin crashed a few thousand dollars uh, down to like the low 64s, but it bounced back pretty quickly. Um, it's actually pretty stable right now, but a lot of stuff is red. A lot of projects are red today. So if you feel like you've been missing out, if you feel like you've missed a couple of these gems, there's some stuff out there on sale today. Uh, and we can find a couple of value buys. Phantasma just earlier today was at $2.30. It's down 70 cents. So if you feel like you missed Phantasma, Phantasma is a smart NFT platform we've covered multiple times here on the channel. Super bullish, one of my bigger holdings in my crypto gaming stack. Um, it's down 16% today. So it's coming down with the market after a big surge. It's come, kind of consolidating naturally. I like Phantasma as a value buy today, down 17%. IOI, Trade Race Manager 2 game right around the corner. V2 right around the corner. And their Cyber Trade game. All of this is super bullish for IOI. And IOI is at a discount again. This is right above my entry. I entered in the $2.50 levels. Um, so this is almost near my entry. So if you felt like you missed out on IOI, it just broke all-time highs. It was up to $3.40 just two days ago. Um, so that is definitely a discount. Chain Games trading at a discount, down 12%. Altura holding strong around $0.25, cents, uh, $0.26 cents right now. But Altura is definitely a value buy under uh, $0.30 cents in my opinion. Uh, so those are a few that are definitely on discount right now. Super Farm back at $1.61 after touching $2 just a couple of days ago. I think Super Farm still safely gets to $3 with uh, the Super Shotgun Imposters releases coming up. We're going to get more developments. We've seen Becker talking about how um, whenever we see the development behind Super Shotgun, we're going to be amazed. So I think that we're going to see big things out of Super Farm as well. Uh, so some good value buys today. Tasma, IOI, Chain Games. Uh, Altura, Poca City, and Super Farm. If you're looking right now, it's about 7 o'clock Central Standard Time here in Texas. Uh, so if you are looking for value buys, that's where I'd be looking right now uh, as far as the crypto gaming space and some projects that are up red for the day. And you want to buy the dips. You don't want to buy the pumps. So this is a perfect time to get in. If you felt like you missed a couple of these before alt season, uh, it is a good time to stack up because I think this might have been the last retest to the bottom before we maybe see that upside. Uh, it, was an, it was a shakeout. You have to shake out some weak hands. You have to shake out that leverage. Um, and I think that successfully happened today. So we'll see what happens with the market moving forward. Uh, so let's go ahead and get into Mikazi. So Mikazi Planet is the upcoming first play to earn virtual pet game on the Cardano blockchain. Uh, their first launch will, and it it's on the 14th of November, uh, their first NFT launch for their Genesis collection. Uh, our first launch includes 10,000 adorable and unique uh, Mokemons named Ito. Our Mokemons will soon be game characters. They will be distributed for 35 ADA each, which is reasonable. Uh, for example, guys, I wanted to point this out. I got Pavia Land Plots, the number one, the number one CNFT, the top CNFTs on OpenSea for the last 24 hours. The floor is 347 ADA. 
Those were minted for 39 ADA, guys. So a lot of these CNFTs are super undervalued to start. And I think the same thing for Mikazi. Uh, Mikazi will be distributed for 35 ADA each within three days. Whitelisted collectors will have a chance to grab our NFT 30 minutes before. Only one NFT is minted per transaction. And collectors owning our original NFTs will have advantages when the beta version launches in 2022. And we will look at the collector's benefits. Uh, but when you look at these characters uh, and the pets, they're super short sharp uh and as far as like games go super like cute uh, you could definitely see the adoption for these NFTs in a game, uh, in a virtual pet game. And I want to compare it to another top NFT collection, uh, Yummy. The characters really remind me of like a Yummy collection. And then you look at Axie. Uh, Axie is a pretty main, the biggest player in the market. Um, this is what they're working with. So in my opinion, I do like what Mikazi has going as far as their NFT designs. And you take a look at their Twitter page, Very, they're updating like different designs every single day. I think they're, for the most part, super sharp. And you see this Mikazi here, uh, the winter god. So let's go ahead and get back to the website. So I think that their NFTs are super sharp looking and they have kind of a style for everyone. And as this Mikazi owner benefits, uh, you will have early access to the game. So whenever they come out with alpha and beta gameplay, the current Mikasi holders will have early access to the game. Uh, there will be no second generation that has the same features. So similarly to a lot of different games across the blockchain, your first launch is the best characters, this, the best features you can get in a Mikasi pet. So that will be the best mint that will ever be minted. And no second generation has the same features. Uh, so these are exclusive to the Genesis collection. Uh, the original NFTs can generate other NFTs. So that is good to see as well. You will receive receive Mikazi tokens uh, for being a Mikazi owner. You will get early discount or you will get discounts when buying land. So that confirmed there will be land plots in the game as well. And you may get exclusive NFTs. And then you take a look at their roadmap. Their roadmap, I like how detailed it is. A lot of these projects out there right now in crypto gaming, especially their roadmaps are so vague. Their roadmaps are quarter one, quarter two, quarter three, quarter four, right? Every project, they're not really laying you out the roadmap. And a lot of these projects that have years ahead of them, they only lay out like one year of their timeline uh, and you don't really know what's ahead, right? Uh, well, Mikazi has their roadmap laid out absolutely tremendously. Uh, so they have their NFT release uh, in November, their social and marketing in October and November. Mikazi Planet introduction in November 21. So that will be good to see. The land and house concepts next month. New character announcements. Uh, Mikazi community introduction in January 2022. First stage ends for game development in March and as well as the launch of the breeding method. In April, we'll have a playable game demo. In May, there will be a chatbot demo. In June, the public token for the Mikazi token will go live. Launch of trading for the Mikazi token in July. First annual in-game NFTs release. So basically, um, you will be able to release and get your NFTs in the game at that point. Um, PVE game leaderboard launch, PVP playable game demo, and PVP game leaderboard launch. So I love that their roadmap is completely laid out and it's super detailed. You know exactly what they're striving for. Uh, and going forward, they're going to have a lot more beyond this, obviously. Uh, but I love the amount of detail that they have put into the roadmap. Cardano's platform where players can raise pets, collect pets accessories, and earn Mikazi tokens. The more you take care of your pet, the more tokens you get. And you go to their team. They are, um, they have like Twitters and LinkedIn's. A lot of them are technically like anonymous. I guess you could say that they use Mikazi NFTs as their profile pictures, but I think that's normal for an NFT platform in my complete opinion. Um, I don't see anything wrong with that. And you can check out the LinkedIn of a couple of them and all of them have their Twitters linked. I don't see anything wrong with the team as far uh, as being anonymous because like I said, they're using the Mikazi NFTs as their profile pictures. I think that's completely normal, to be completely honest. Uh, so that's Mikazi, and I just like they're already doing really well on Twitter. Uh, their Twitter has already gained 7,000 followers, and it is far beyond an NFT collection, uh, and it is the first virtual pet game on the Cardano blockchain. Uh, so I'm actually looking to get involved. I'm going to pick up a couple of Mikazi NFTs. I've been getting involved with some CNFTs across the board recently, and I think at 35 ADA a piece, the way that the floor price prices have been booming on CNFTs. I'm definitely going to try to get me a Mikazi pet uh, whenever these mint. And if I can, I might do multiple wallets, try to get more. Um, but 
just to try to you know maximize the potential. Uh, and at 35 ADA, you're risking very minimum uh, for a potential big time gain if Makazi was to take off and be a adopted game on the Cardano blockchain. And how many NFTs are minted? 10,000. The price is 35 ADA. Uh, the first series launches on November 14th. You can use Daedalus, Yoroi, Nami, or Adalite. Uh, and the purchasing steps are here as well. I would advise to join their Discord. There's about 5,000 members in their Discord. Their community is super strong. Um, everything I like about Mikazi, and I think that this is going to do really well. And I see this materializing down the line, especially with the holder benefits. It gives the benefits uh, to hold on to those NFTs until those game demos and the future NFT launches, as well as the official game. So I love this project. And a couple others I have been picking up across the board in the CNFT space. I don't talk NFTs much on the channel, and I do kind of dwell in the cnft space a little bit i recently picked up a dgen crypto club I, it's one of the more better communities uh for cnft like information if you if you go into the dgen crypto club they're always talking uh and you can definitely pick up some great cnft information in the dgen crypto club discord uh, so they have a solid community and they already have a thousand wallet holders uh and if you look it is number 31 ranked by volume 165 ada is the floor uh and there's Twitter, they have 5,000 followers, and I did pick me up one. It is my Twitter profile picture right now, uh, and you can follow me there as well, Johnny Hyrola. Uh, that is my Twitter. That would be greatly appreciated, and I post a bunch of stuff there as well uh, on the markets, crypto, all that good stuff. Uh, another one I'm picking up is Clumsy Ghosts. I did pick up a couple Clumsy Ghosts. Uh, 75 is the floor, but Clumsy Ghosts, uh, on top of 3,000 wallet holders, 9,000 minted assets, they have 13,000 followers on Twitter. Uh, you look at who's following them. Alex Becker's randomly following them. That's always a good sign, uh, first and foremost. And then second of all, their art's just really solid. Their art is super solid, and they're actually trying to lead the way uh, towards getting Cardano NFTs listed onto OpenSea. So I think that would be interesting um, if Clumsy Ghost could push forward trying to get Cardano NFTs listed on OpenSea. Uh, that would obviously get a lot more exposure to all of these, and it would also provide all the OpenSea crowd exposure to CNFTs. So it's a win-win both sides. Uh, and that is just something like yummy, clumsy ghosts they're all working on uh, trying to get OpenSea's attention uh, because the marketplace is getting a ton of volume. The CNFT marketplace is definitely getting a lot of volume at 127,000 ADA. This is all the last 24 hours, guys. Uh, if we go to the last 30 days volume, you know, we're going to be talking a lot. 5.8 million ADA, 3.6 million ADA. So this market is booming, and I think it's a little bit slept on. If you're looking to get involved in NFTs, like I said, I would definitely look in the CNFT space to get started. It's a very low barrier to entry way to get your hands in the NFT sector and be able to find out what makes a good project, what makes a good NFT community, uh, because community is everything in NFTs. And that's why, for example, I got a DJ in Crypto Club. Uh, they're always in there talking NFTs, talking other drops, uh, talking about the DJ, like, you know, the floor and how it's like, you know, how we can develop the community. I really like everything going on in the DJ in Crypto Club. Uh, that's why I picked up one of those. And like I said, I'm eyeing getting a Mikazi pet 100% and as many as I can get my hands on. Uh, I think it's a low risk, high reward opportunity. Play to earn gaming is everything right now. We cover it here every single day on the channel. Uh, so subscribe if you are new, like the video if you enjoyed the video. Uh, but I just wanted to cover Mikazi, a couple value buys, and then some NFTs on the Cardano blockchain that I have been looking into uh, and why I just think they all start a little low to too low of a floor. And a lot of them just simply are performing super well. You look at these floor prices uh, for the most part are absolutely solid. So uh, let's go ahead and wrap it up there. I'll be back tomorrow, guys, with another video. As always, stay bullish. Keep hustling. Peace.